my name is Fanny and that is Franklin and welcome to our van build. Let me show you around. I'm going to start showing you around the kitchen. Here we got this little overhead cabinet well, where you've got our plates, a blender, an oven proof dish and other small bits up here. This one is a little hatch so we can see what's going on out there through the cab. Got our magnetic knife holder and our knife, uh, our spice rack um, with a little LED strip in them so it lights it up nicely and we know exactly what's in which jar. Got our, my coffee machine, what I absolutely love. I love my coffee in the morning and it really excites me to have a nice cup of coffee. So it was something what I knew I wanted in the van from day one. Um, got our oven, that was another thing what we knew we really wanted. So Voyager 4, it's 4,500. It's got a little two burners. We got a little toaster compartment. Put your bread on here and have toast almost every morning. And obviously the oven bit. Another thing I absolutely love about here is this is my hand drawer. Got a towel. Uh, pans and you've got a removable handle so they are space savers and here there's a little secret drawer which comes out got our glasses some other coffee cups and it keeps it nice and secure while we're driving and it slides away and you never know it's there we've got a cutlery drawer and then another little storage we've got some dry goods in here got our towels some bread some tissue some other bits and bobs same as it is on this side but we don't have cabinet doors on it we just secure everything with bungee which worked uh, an absolute treat and over to here we've got our pantry door it slides out like this and all our food is in here. So three runners and strong enough. We do have to secure it while we're driving both on top and the bottom so it doesn't move. We've got our max fire fan here so while we're cooking even if we can't have the door open it works as kitchen extraction fan. Easy for you to say. So while we're cooking it sucks the air out and it don't make the bed area smell like you cooked in the kitchen. And over to here we've got our washing up section. We've got a tap, got full water pressure in here, hot and cold. There's a little matching soap dispenser here. Got our bin and storage for our hoover, cloths, dog food and then there's the pipe going down to the 50 litre grey water tank which has got a solenoid on it and here's where you control it so you can open it and close it with this switch and that's my kitchen oh no wait it's not my kitchen and here we have got our fridge and freezer. It comes in really handy, it's very full, we've just been to the shop. And this is our dining table. Slides out, also use it for everything else. And ta-da! That's my kitchen. This is our bedroom. Um, we've got a fixed bed, what we knew we wanted again since day one. For some people it's not suitable but for us it was the perfect choice. After a long hike, big day of skiing, I do want a good night of sleep. So we went for exactly the same mattress what we had in our house. It's an Ikea mattress. This one is 140, that one was a little bit bigger. Uh, so we got a double mattress in here and we've got a wardrobe on that wall 
we didn't put a couple of doors up to save on the weight and also I would find it very awkward myself uh, when I'm opening the couple of doors I would have to move back so like this I just go in there take things out and the bunch just keeps everything in place we've got a laundry chute in under one of those little shelves and we've got a sky front here which makes this area very nice and bright and also got a small window back there it's very nice when you wake up in the morning on both sides of the bed we've got USB chargers for phones and we've got a light switch up here as well so we can when we come to bed we don't have to go back out to switch the lights off and this is where we sleep one of the reasons why it took us so long to build the van is because it was our very first build and we didn't really know what we were doing um, also we wanted the build to be four season suitable we love skiing in the winter and also love the seaside love scuba diving so we wanted it to stay warm in the winter and then stay cool in the summer and at the same time we didn't want to be depending on campsites or having to plug in or go for showers in in public toilets and as such so we really made it our absolute best to make it as off-grid as possible what means that we've got two solar panels on the roof uh, two times 180 watts um, and we've got a DC to DC charger which charges the leisure batteries in the back um, went while we we're driving um, we got 150 litre water tank uh, which is enough for showering doing the dishes things like that um, obviously we've got water pump and then we've got our heating system and our cooking system which is powered by LPG we've got an underslung 38 litre LPG tank under the van and we've got a trim of four combi boiler just under this seat and this is responsible for our hot water and our heating this is absolutely amazing because there's a little control panel here where you can just set your set your temperature the van temperature on it it's off now because thankfully we don't need it anymore but you just set a, a temperature what you feel comfortable in press on it go back and you have a little thermostat just over here and every time the van temperature drops the combi boiler kicks in and you have an equal temperature temperature throughout the van all the time this lpg tank powers the voyager 4500 oven what we talked about before and I do really recommend this oven, I absolutely love it. Another thing which was very very important for me is being able to have a shower no matter where we go to. So we have got a little shower slash bathroom in this corner of the van what um, has held a lot of fear to start with and um, it turned out loads better than what we were expecting. So this is our little shower slash toilet. We've got a simple toilet which uh, separates liquid from solid and it's got a 12 volt fan in there, sucks the air out and this area here always stays nice and good smelling. The walls are covered with the ultra uh, material. And another thing I love in here is this bamboo tree, which is actually from Aldi. I'll let you go in there. So our bamboo tree, which is from Aldi, we've cut it to size. And when we have a shower, we take it out, place it out here in front of the toilet. And we have after we had the shower, we put it back in. So you're good to go to the toilet.
behind it has got a folder here. So you can have an outside shower. This is another thing I love about the van. We've got a hanging chair, which is the most amazing thing. Just to have a coffee in here, or have a cold drink, fresh beer from the keg. It's just so amazing, especially with such a view. Um, the hanger is custom made to the roof rack, what we've got. And it's also got an optional pull-up bar what you can just attach to it. Um, I'll be honest, this chair gets a lot more use than the, the pull-up bar. Enjoy the view! I'm 26 years old and I've moved to England when I was 19. Since then I lived in a couple of different uh, countries like Austria, Germany, uh, France and Spain. Um, we've tried to settle down with my boyfriend, so we bought a house in England, we renovated it but it didn't quite work out as we planned for us because we were trying to set up business, we were trying to open a restaurant um, and about a year planning into it, we were only two weeks away from signing the contract and the pandemic hit. We kept our hopes up for about three months, we were trying to make it into a delivery business but it didn't work out and then soon we realized that pandemic is not something what's going away anytime soon this was the moment when we both knew that we needed to do something to keep us together and to keep us happy well neither of us is the type of person who would just sit at home wait for something to happen so we decided we're going to start looking for a van we decided to get a mercedes sprinter long wheelbase because we both know that we wanted to live in it full time and we wanted a shower, we wanted an oven and we wanted to make sure that we've got enough space in here and we don't have to make any compromises at all. Altogether it has taken us about eight months to build a van. It was six months doing it next to a full-time job while we were selling everything, what we had, we were getting ready for this trip and then two months away we were doing in Hungary where we drove over um, this one was nothing like how it looks when we were driving but we had a mattress on the floor it was full of boxes and that's how the whole adventure started um, we spent about eight thousand um, pounds on the interior of the van getting the materials get everything for it um, you can't put it into words how much time uh, of the two of us and the vehicle itself with the uh, spending a bit of money on it and making it into very reliable uh, cost us about £11,000 so this is where we are right now we have spent uh, three months in the Balkans we've been to some ski resorts that's where we started in January and then we went back to Hungary to finish the garage area which is just under the bed um, so that was that took us about another Three weeks and now we are in Slovenia and we're heading over to Croatia and um, if you'd like to follow us and see what we're doing find us on Instagram on jazz.on.d.explore and on our YouTube channel as well